Welcome to another Dr. Spotfire quick tip video. I'm Jose Aguirre from the Data Science team. And today I'm going to talk about on how to create a date picker or how to enhance a dashboard that has input control that require a date through a date picker for the user uh, to easily change uh, dates or even month. Maybe you have a monthly report and you want to see a specific month and you select the month and, and that's it. So let's get started. Okay, here I have a stock performance report. I have, I'm comparing the two metrics over time for company A, company D, two tickers and with a bunch of metrics. But what's important here is I have a way to select the start date and the end date uh, of this report. When I click here, I see a pop-up that I can easily change. I can change the year, I can scroll up and down. I can go back to January uh, and, and go all the way back to the January and see the full data of the year 2022 for my stock performance report. So now I'm, go and now I'm going to walk you behind the scenes on how I create the script. Okay, so let me remove the script so I can show you what's going on. Again, these are uh, document properties, but now I'm going to take a closer look. These document properties are of type date, and this is very important to keep in mind the format of this uh, document property it has to be year, month, day in the case of a, a full date uh, picker. And I'm going to explain you why in a minute. So the document property, these document properties, whenever I make changes, it's going to update my visualizations. If I look at any of my visualizations, I see that the data limiting using expression is using these document properties to take anything in between my ticker date column. So now what I'm going to do is add this little uh, pop-up uh, calendar on my date picker and I'm going to do that through JavaScript, create a new JavaScript call input to date picker or just date picker. And the script is going to be, first I need a reference of the first uh, date picker. So I'm going to query the document and look for my first date. And behind the scenes, behind the scenes, you're going to see that the, the Spotfire control is going to render as an input. So inside this uh, element, I have a Spotfire control that behind the scenes renders as an input. Now I have the first reference. I'm going to duplicate this line to make reference to the second date and now we have it. And then the last thing I need to do is just change the type or change the attribute type of that input into a date. The same is for the second input. And when I click okay, now I have date pickers and that's it but I'm not gonna stop there. I'm going to make more enhancements uh, in a minute. So now see when I click here and I go, let's say June first, I uh, nothing happens because I either have to click enter or I have to click out of it. So if I click enter, now I can see my changes, but maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want the user to see the changes right after they make a change. So for that, I'm going to programmatically click out of it by adding the following line of code. I'm going to say that my date picker, when it changes, is going to click out, and that is by calling the blur method. And that's part of the HTML specification. So it's embedded as part of the input element properties and methods. I'm going to do the same for my second date picker. I forgot the commas, it's always a good practice to put the commas at the end of each line of code. And now I'm going to make sure that my two uh, pickers are going to take effect as soon as I make a change. When I click here and I go back to maybe January, when I make the changes, I can see it. Now let's try on the second date picker. I'm going to go back six months, maybe July, and go to the end of July and uh, it's making changes and there we go. Okay, now the last part that I want to do is remove the, the border of my date picker. 
So let's do that. I'm going to change the style of the border to none. And again, Control D to duplicate the line to and border none. And when I click OK, now I don't have any border. Well, there's another thing I want to, I want to uh, change for my date pickers. The user might be tempted to change the year here, but because I have that on change event, it's not going to let me. Let's say I want to change uh, here the 15. If I click one, okay, it works, but I want to I want to do the 15, and uh, it it's kind of not working. Let's do the same for this one, 15. Oh, it works. Let's do 06. Six two thousand two thousand twenty uh, two thousand twenty two no two thousand twenty see it's not working properly because there is an unchanged event happening that is clicking out of the property it's not working as expected so we're gonna fix that what I want to do is as soon as I click the the any of these numbers I want to open the pop-up calendar. So I'm, I'm going to say that whenever I change, I, I make a, when, whenever I click, I am going to open the picker. And that's a method from the HTML5 picker that will show the picker programmatically. And I'm going to do that for both of them. There we go, click OK. And now when I click here, I can select the date picker immediately and uh, I can, it doesn't matter where I click, it's going to open the date picker. And that's it. Let me now, let me just quickly show you the uh, HTML reference. And this is, uh, the date picker is this one. I will change the type, type to date and this is how it works. Exactly the same as I show you. But now let's say I'm only interested in picking the month. So for that, I have to make sure that my format is in this format. And uh, it, it really doesn't ma matter. It doesn't mean that the, this is going to display this way. It's just that the format on my spot file has to follow this format because it's that's the return value behind the scenes of JavaScript. When I retrieve the value, it's going to show me the value as year month. So uh, let's try it out. Let's try this one. And uh, I also have... Oops, well, let's close this out. Okay, let's uh, change now this, uh, change the pickers for maybe month pickers only. So the first thing I need to do is change the format as year and month for both cases. And now I'm going to change the type as month because if I don't change the format on my document property, it's not going to hold its value. So I have June, now I can select January and there you have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for further uh, questions or feedback. It's always welcome. Mm -hmm.